Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins, back with another five weekly favorites. We're cheating a little this week because we technically have six favorites, but we first want to talk about some Everlane pieces. You guys know we love them. We both have like their commuter backpack that we adore. Mm -hmm. And we we're actually, a lot of things. yeah, you do have a lot of pants and jeans. Mm -hmm. um, we're part of their affiliate program. And so they were kind enough to send us some of their like newer winter pieces. Mm -hmm. And I got the boss boots that Carly spoke about, I think a few weeks ago. I think I put them in a monthly favorites and a weekly favorites. Yes, and I've been loving them just as much as Carly. Um, they're so perfect, they're so comfortable. They have like the perfect chunky heels, so it kind of looks a little more elevated than just a flat, I don't know what that style of boot is called. A Chelsea boot. A Chelsea boot. They have Chelsea boots too. They do, um, but I prefer a little bit of a heel. Um, the pointed toe is just comfortable enough um, and still looks like really nice. I feel like all of my shoes are a pointed toe. And mm -hmm. I do, I don't mind the silver hardware because it's on the inside of the boot mm -hmm. and it still looks really nice. The quality is just amazing. Yeah, like it's crazy. For leather boots at this price point, you really can't go wrong. Um, I highly recommend them to anyone if you're just looking for, cause I don't really have a lot of boot options for the winter. Like I feel like I'm literally gonna wear these every single day. Yeah, I wear them basically every day. And um, for my item, I was gonna get another pair of boots because I love the Everlane boots so much. But I wanted this blazer forever, and it is their, I believe it's called their oversized, I think it's like a boyfriend blazer maybe? Yeah, like oversized blazer. We're, we're obviously going to link these down below. Yeah. Um, and it comes in a few different patterns, but I got the chevron print, which I loved because it's a really tiny chevron print. Like, yeah. if you look at it from really far away, it would almost well, look like a, Isn't it called herringbone? I think they call it chevron. Oh, okay. Um, it would almost look like a solid, but then obviously close up, you can see it has these little, like, like a chevron print, like little triangle details. And um, it's a perfect shade of gray. I saw a lot of comments saying that it's darker in person than online, which I think is true, but I prefer a darker gray for a mm -hmm. blazer. So I just love this. And it's so incredibly warm. We, I wore this to, to the holiday market that we did a few weeks ago. And um, Berta was freezing like the whole day and she had a sweater on and so she's cold. like, it's so cold in here. I'm like, really? Cause I, I almost want to take this off cause I was so hot. They must be like the wool content or something. It was just incredibly warm. And um, the other thing I wanted to call out is that a lot of people said this was super oversized, so to size down. So I got the smallest size, which is double zero, um, because I have really short arms and I was worried that any other size would be too long. And this one fits me perfectly. It still looks slightly oversized, but not too much. And so you would say size down? Yes, yeah. I would definitely say size down. I normally would never be a double zero. Um, so yeah, definitely love this thing so much and um i can insert a photo of me wearing it because we're going to take some photos so yes. that should be helpful so you can see what it looks like on okay next up i have to talk about my new favorite of all time eyebrow gel <clears throat> this was a casey holmes recommendation and she's still our favorite youtuber but a lot of times we don't see eye to eye on product mm -hmm. choices because she wears like super full coverage i mean she does beautiful makeup but a lot of times the things she recommends i mean i like but we just don't have the same makeup style anyways she recommended this Makeup Revolution eyebrow gel. It, it just says brow gel, but I know it has a name. I'll link it down below. It looks like this. It has like the holographic cap and I have the shade Ash Brown and this is the best eyebrow gel I've ever tried. I know we recently spoke about the e.l.f. Wow Brow and I like that. If you mm -hmm. like a thicker gel, I would go with the Wow Brow. If you like something thin, go with this one. And the reason I like it is because it has this super small brush. I don't even know if you can see it super small but the, it's such a thin formula that it just deposits the perfect amount of product it never deposits too much and i feel like it just gets in each and every brow hair and it really makes my brows look plump if brows can even look plump i think that's my issue is like i want a brow gel that holds my brows in place but also doesn't paste them to your skin mm -hmm. and i think that's kind of hard to find with a thinner formula but then sometimes a thicker formula deposits too much product so they look kind of goopy and this one just doesn't do that it literally looks perfect all day long i'm shocked at how good it is for the price point i will continue to purchase it forever and i feel like because it's such a thin formula um this is gonna last me such a long time. The wiper is nice, like it really does not, mm -hmm. like you don't get too much product. Um, and I put this on and then I do go over it with a spoolie just to like make sure everything's nice and set. Um, but it just, it's so good. I don't even know if you can tell because obviously it's so hard to see a brow gel, but in her video, 
um, I don't know, I think it was like an Ulta haul video. She demonstrated it and you could see like the pigment it was depositing in her brows because she has thinner brows and it just looks so nice. Like she said that like someone like Carly could just use this and you wouldn't even need a pencil. So highly recommend. Okay, I have a skincare favorite. Um, Good Molecule sent us this a while ago, but I have so many oils so I just kind of like put it in my closet and pulled it out recently. And it's the Good Molecules Pure Cold Press Rosehip Seed Oil. And you guys know we love rosehip seed oil. <clears throat> We've talked about the Ordinary one and the one we buy on Amazon. What is mm -hmm. that? It's like a It's big, an organic one. Yeah, yeah, and that one I feel like it was too big of a bottle because rosehip seed can go bad. Mm -hmm. And when it starts to get really dark in color, that's kind of when it's turning. And so that bottle was just too big for my liking. And I like that this is a small size. It's under an ounce. It's um 0.44 fluid ounces. And it just really seems like a very pure oil to me, like very high quality rosehip oil. And I've been loving it just like any other rosehip oil, like the Ordinary one, but I like the small size. My bathroom has limited space, so I like that it's small and I can keep it out. And yeah, it's a really lovely oil. been really enjoying this. I have an oil favorite too, actually. No, no, Carly had an oil favorite. Um, this is my new Holy Grail face oil. I know that's a huge statement, but I have been loving it. It's organic Tamanu oil. I just got this one on Amazon. It's by the brand Camille because it's organic and I mean you can really get any damn new oil but this one I think it was $15 for one ounce so super affordable. It has a nice pump which I like. I don't like a dropper for an oil. Like I like it. I like the experience. I feel like um you know it, it I get it. I get why most oils come in a dropper but with a pump I, I generally like to mix in oil in my moisturizer or even on top and I feel like a pump is just so quick. Especially in the morning, like I mix my SPF, my moisturizer, and this oil, so it's just easier to like pump everything out. Um, anyways, I love this. The reason I purchased it was because you guys know we love the Cred Beauty Great Berry Relief Serum, and I'm like about to purchase a third bottle because I go through it so quickly because I use it morning and night. And I get like I think the size is perfect. I'm not saying that it's not worth the, the cost, but I was just going through it so quickly. And we've been spending a lot, you know, the holidays, everyone spends more at this time of year. And so I thought like, oh, what's a good alternative I can get instead of repurchasing a third bottle like right now. And um, I know Tamnu oil is high in the ingredient list in that product. Mm -hmm. And it's like the hero ingredient of that product. It's what mm -hmm. she made the product around. Yeah, exactly. And she speaks so highly of it, mm -hmm. Leah, yeah. um, if you don't know who we're talking about. She speaks so highly of this ingredient. So I thought like, why, I just should just try the pure Tamnu oil and see if that kind of has the same effect on my skin and I think because there's a higher concentration just when you buy the oil it like has helped my skin even more I still highly recommend the great barrier relief mm -hmm. and will continue to purchase but I am shocked at how well this works with my skin and everyone's skin is different but this so I have been getting pretty bad eczema on my eyes um, just because the the weather is changing it's drier it's winter and this cured it literally overnight and I did like kind of concentrate a little bit more on my eyes to kind of like just like patting it over the top um, and it has really evened up my skin tone as well uh, I think like it that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed yeah. to fade like acne scarring, um, hyperpigmentation, I believe, mm -hmm. um, help with redness. But it says it's supposed to, to be like use, a miracle ingredient. On Amazon, it says to use for eczema as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I can't believe how good it is. And my she favorite part up. about it, yeah, is that it's a thicker oil, but it really, really sets into the skin quickly. So I can wear this under my foundation. Well, I have been wearing it under my foundation every single day because it's not um, super... I don't know. You know how some oils, like even squalane, like it can just kind of sit on top of the skin for a while. This like soaks into the skin really, really quickly. Even though it's a really thicker oil, it feels moisturizing. It does have a scent, um, but I, it, the scent doesn't bother me. It's just the natural scent of Tamanu oil. I know I'm just like rambling at this point, but if you're looking for a new oil that's super moisturizing, will help with hyperpigmentation, even your skin tone, if you have eczema, definitely get this. Okay, our last favorite is Mrs. Maisel Season 3. If you guys 
I mean, you had to be living under a rock to not yeah. know Mrs. Maisel. It's a show on Amazon. It's an Amazon original, and we love it. And they only have released seasons in December, so mm -hmm. it's been a year since season two. And when it premiered in season two, I had like binge watched season one right before that. Yeah. And then it went straight into season two, and then I became so obsessed. Britta watched it before me. And I was like, I can't wait a whole year. And then they hadn't, like, released the date for season three. And then yeah. they finally did, and it was in December. So we waited a whole year, and it's incredible. It's such a good show. It's so well done, mm -hmm. and the season is really good so far. Yeah, we only like. watched two episodes. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a little bit different because um, Midge, she's the main character. We've talked about this show on yeah. our channel before. Um, and she's a comedian. And this season, she's traveling. She's on tour with a singer. So it's, like different sets and it's fun to see like her go different places because usually it's just in new york so i'm really excited to watch the rest of the episodes you have you you will love the show it's, any anyone everyone will, will love, love the show. show it's so good thank you guys so much for watching this week's weekly favorites let us know what you've been loving down below and we'll see you next week